patterns in square numbers. In this module, you will learn about the patterns in square numbers. Let us learn some interesting patterns in square numbers. Do you know the pattern shown above? These are the triangular numbers whose dot patterns can be arranged as triangles. Now, we combine two consecutive triangular numbers like we add one star to three stars and get four stars. Similarly, we add three stars to six stars and get nine stars. Then we add six stars to next consecutive stars that is ten stars. We get sixteen stars. Do you observe anything special about these number of stars? We get a square number of stars. Let's see the multiplication grid up to 100. Now, we shade the square numbers like 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, 36, 49, 64, 81, 100. Now, what do you observe? Do you observe any pattern here? All the diagonal numbers are square numbers. Find the difference of square of 1 and the square of 2, that is 3. Now count the non-square numbers between square of 1 and square of 2. There are two non-square numbers. Find the difference of square of 2 and the square of 3. That is 5. Now, count the non-square numbers between square of 2 and square of 3. There are four non-square numbers. Again, find the difference of square of 3 and the square of 4. That is 7. Now, Count the non-square numbers between square of 3 and square of 4. There are 6 non-square numbers. Do you see any pattern? Observe the difference of the square of any two consecutive numbers and the count of non-square numbers between them. We find the count of non-square numbers is 1 less than the difference. We can generalize this pattern in finding non-square numbers between two consecutive square numbers. Let us consider n as any natural number. Therefore, its consecutive number is n plus 1. Then we write their difference in the square as n plus 1 whole square minus n square. This is equal to 2n plus 1. Here are some stair-step patterns. Do you observe any pattern here? Now, consider the following. The square of 1 is 1, then the sum of 1 and 3 is 4, which is written as 2 square. The sum of 1 and 3 and 5 is 9, which is written as 3 square. Similarly, the sum of 1 and 3 and 5 and 7 is 16, which is written as the square of 4. Here, we observe on the left-hand side of the equality. There is a sum of odd numbers and on the right hand, we get the square numbers. We generalize this result as the sum of first n odd numbers is n square. Let us consider the following. We can express the square of odd numbers as the sum of two consecutive numbers. We find the consecutive numbers by subtracting 1 and dividing by 2. And we find another number by adding 1 and dividing by 2. Now, let's take the square of an even number. We find a fraction number instead of a natural number. So, we say that this pattern is made only for square of odd numbers. We can express the square of odd numbers as the sum of two consecutive numbers. 
Let's see another property of squares. Consider a rectangle ABCD of length 13 units and breadth of 11 units. Now, transform this rectangle into a square by cutting a rectangle of 1 unit breadth along the breadth BC of the rectangle ABCD, such that we get a rectangle HBCI. Now, move and fix it along the length AH of the rectangle AHID. Observe the figure formed. Is it a square? How can this figure be made a complete square? No, it's not a complete square as there is something missing. Measure this missing space. This space can be filled by another square of one unit. As the rectangle fixed along the length is 11 units long, whereas the length of the shape left is 12 units, and the breadth of the rectangular cutout is also one unit. We know area of rectangle ABCD is length into breadth, that is 11 into 13. This is equal to the area of square EGID minus area of square FGHJ, that is 12 square minus 1 square. Here, we subtract the area of unit square from the 12 square, as the area of square formed has an additional unit square, than the area of the original rectangle. Similarly, the area of rectangle of sides 28 units and 30 units is written as the area of square of length 29 minus area of square of 1 unit. Do you observe any pattern here? Yes, we observe that the product of two consecutive even or odd numbers is equal to the square of even or odd numbers between them minus 1. So, in general, we say that if A is any natural number, then A plus 1 into A minus 1 is equal to A square minus 1. Do you observe any pattern in this? First of all, the number of digits in the product is odd in number. Since the digit is odd, if we pick the middle digit, each side will contain even number of digits and those numbers are in reversed symmetrical order. So, all these are some patterns shown by the square numbers. Let's recap. Some interesting patterns shown by the square numbers are If we combine two consecutive triangular numbers, we get a square number. In the multiplication grid up to 100, all the diagonal numbers are square numbers. There are two n non-square numbers between the squares of the number n and n plus 1. The sum of the first n odd natural numbers is n square. The square of any odd natural number can be expressed as the sum of two consecutive numbers. The product of two consecutive even or odd numbers can be expressed as the square of even or odd numbers between them minus 1. The squares of 1, 11, 111, 1111 and so on make a wonderful pattern.